everybody and welcome to my home. Today we're going to talk all about honey. We're going to talk about how you can cream honey and why. So I hope that you enjoy this video. Everybody, welcome back. Today's project for the month of February is learning to cream honey. And why would we do that? I'm going to showcase a book, of course, because I love this book and it teaches you all about the benefits of honey, honey internally and honey externally. You can use honey for so many things. This video and the supplies were brought to you by a subscriber who loves my passion for learning. And she has been researching all kinds of different projects and wondered if I'd ever tried them. And I said, no, I haven't, but you know me, I love to learn new things. I the idea and she provided all the ingredients for me to make this video. So this is gonna be a real fun video for me to make because I'm learning with all of you. Honey has an indefinite life shelf, but if you wanna store it long-term and you wanna keep it from crystallizing, what you want to do is you want to learn to cream your honey. It's so simple, so easy to do. And once you do it, you can store it long term and it will never crystallize again. So this is about having honey for long term storage. She got me this bucket of honey. And now we're going to cream it. I bet you think, well, that's easy. All you do is you take honey and you whip it up. No, not at all. I never knew how to do it either until I researched it and my friend shared with me how. What you want to do is you want to get seed honey. That's what it's called. That's what the professionals call it. It's already whipped up honey. So you want to take one part of already whipped up honey and add it to regular honey. <laughs> I know it's amazing. It's really, really unusual. All you have to do is Google and research it. It's so interesting. So in our honey companion, so in our honey companion book, it teaches you all about all the ways that you can use honey. It talks about using honey for your digestive health, using honey for your face and your skin. It's very fascinating. I am going to do a lot of recipes in this, but it's even making homemade soda using honey. But today, it's all about long-term storage. I have this really large spoon. I love this spoon. As you've seen me, I use it in so many of my videos. We're gonna pour all of this honey. Part of the whipped honey to 10 parts of regular honey. So we're gonna go ahead. Now this is gonna take a little bit to get this all out of here. I was trying to figure out the easiest way to do it and I don't want to heat it. In previous videos you saw me heating honey up to open can it and really people were telling me that when you heat honey up you are actually really really damaging the nutrients so we don't want to heat it up and that's another reason why you want to cream it so you can have it long-term storage and you're keeping all the nutrients in it. All right, so now we're gonna take our cream honey and we are going to add it to our regular honey. I'm gonna do a little bit of the whipped honey first to see how much it actually will take. All we need to do now is take our stick blender. We are going to take our stick blender and we're going to blend it all up. All right, that's all it took. It didn't take much at all to blend it all up. Now we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna clean up my kitchen. I want to give you a little fair warning. This is a extremely messy job. So I'm gonna clean up my kitchen. I have a lot of whipped honey left and it gave me all of this. Let me clean everything up then I'll show you how we're gonna store it long term. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a whipped honey and I'm gonna put it into this beverage pitcher. And this is what we're gonna be able to do to pour it into our small glass jars.
This is a very thick honey. So you can spread it on toast, you can use it with peanut butter, you can use it in baking, but it's not going to ever crystallize. And that's one thing that's really nice about it. And a little bit of it goes a long way. Now you could pour these in pint jars, you could put it in quart jars, but I'm going to be giving some of these as gifts and I was given these nice cute little jars. So these would be individual little jars you could use. I'll probably have it for breakfast with my bagels. So I'll probably spread a little honey on my bagels. If you want to study more about the benefits of honey and all of the amazing things that it can do for your body, check out this book. It's really neat. This is what it looks like. It almost has a caramel type consistency to it. Now, remember, if you are a diabetic, this is honey. So this is basically sugar. So, but it is a lot better for you than cane sugar. And if you do a lot of research, there are more benefits to honey than what you ever would realize because I sure didn't know about it. Now, we're going to go ahead and pour them into these little jars. These are what you would call small weck jars. So they will seal and your honey will stay perfect for many, many years. Did I say years? Yep, years, because this will not crystallize because we just creamed honey. This is going to take me about an hour to do this. So I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. But this would give me enough of honey to last me a couple years, at least. So you know these lids I got, and remember they wouldn't seal. These would be perfect for doing this. So I'm going to use them to do this. I am putting some in pints for long-term storage, and then I'm going to put some in the little jars for gifts. Why would you want to do this? Well, basically you would want to do this for long-term storage if you want to store a lot of honey and you don't want it to crystallize. If you use a lot of honey, this would be great for getting a large batch like this. Everybody knows me and they know when I do something, I always do it in large quantities so I don't have to do it again for a long time. So this would be perfect for long-term storage. Now this honey is promised to never crystallize and that is what is the secret in having it long-term storage. Then you don't have to worry about it turning you know, hard and crystallizing. You don't need to preserve this any other way. All you gotta do is just put a lid on it. Since I want this for long-term storage, I put most of them in pint jars. I did use a few of these for gifts, but I have all these left over and these are gonna be for an upcoming video. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm using them for. I can't wait to share with you these beautiful spice jars and what I'm gonna use the rest of these for. All right, so let me show you the finished project. And let me show you my pretty labels that I made to put on this honey. It's the very next day and I wanted to share with you my final thoughts on creaming honey. I also made some labels I'm going to put on here and I wanted to share with you that I really think it's a wonderful opportunity if you can cream your honey to keep it long-term storage that will last you a lifetime. All you have to do is you don't have to do a big batch like I have. I have a lot of honey here, enough to last me a couple years. What you can do is get a small glass jar of whipped honey and then you can add that to your regular honey. So you wouldn't have to have such a big batch of it. But it's a wonderful way that you can have your honey without it crystallizing. And that way you can store it long term and you don't have to worry about it getting hard. It's just another one of these lessons, another one of these things that you can do for long term storage. Because you just never know, hmm, if honey is going to be hard to find. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Now to put on my sweet little labels. So many people keep asking me, how do I make these labels? Well, it's very simple. You go to avery.com and you can print them out for free. You have to buy the Avery paper on Amazon, on eBay, or Walmart, or many other stores. Now, you can just use black and black ink if you want. I still have a little bit of color ink, remember from Christmas time when I splurged and got myself some colored ink. But you can use black, you can just have it black and white and it looks really old fashioned. But I'm really excited because I do have a little color yet. I'm really excited because I do have some colored ink left over and there's nothing as cute as a homemade label. Oh, by the way, you don't have to stir it when you open it. It's already mixed. It will not separate. 
aren't these adorable too <laughs> they are so cute i can't wait to share these with my family and i can't wait to have these on my shelf oh you're still here hey why don't you do me a favor check out all the videos over here and over here these are videos from long ago and i'm sure a lot of you haven't seen them <laughs>